better thing, Bert. Get rid of those dice. If everyone could wait until they got married, we wouldn't have all these problems with sexually transmitted diseases and unwanted pregnancies. Hey, go to church, meet a girl, and get married. Positively. That's an option for most people. However, everyone who has sex should know how to protect themselves. Condoms can provide protection for both men and women. Not only will they help protect you from the AIDS virus, they can provide a very good defense against herpes, syphilis, and gonorrhea. Using a condom can prevent semen from entering into another person's body. AIDS is sexually transmitted through the exchange of body fluids like semen, vaginal secretions, and menstrual blood. All of these body fluids, as well as human waste, urine and feces, have been found to contain the AIDS virus. Do not allow any of these into your body during any sexual activity. Using a condom provides protection for sexually active men and women, but they are not foolproof. If you want to find out more about the correct way to use a condom, your doctor, local health clinic, or pharmacist can give you more information. Since we are on the subject of sex. Tell me, doctor, kissing, is it dangerous? No, social kissing, or kiss on the cheek, is safe. And of the thousands of thousands of people with AIDS, not one person has been known to get an AIDS infection through kissing. Yes? Number two up there, infected blood entering through the body. What is that all about? Many people have gotten AIDS because they shared needles and syringes. Shooting drugs is dangerous enough without AIDS. Blood is sucked into the needle to make sure that the tip of the needle is in the vein. Many times after use, a potent amount of infected blood remains in the needle and syringe. The next person to use that needle and syringe will be shooting the AIDS virus right into their bloodstream. Infected blood gets passed directly from person to person this way. If you don't want AIDS, don't share needles and syringes. Better yet, just don't use drugs. Another reason not to use drugs and alcohol is that they can affect your good judgment. Use common sense. If you're high or drunk, you're more likely to risk having sex with someone or do something that you may later regret. Yes? How can a woman give the AIDS virus to her unborn baby? The third way that AIDS is passed is from pregnant mother to her child. If a woman is infected with the AIDS virus, her baby is likely to be born infected. An unborn child shares blood with its mother, and the AIDS virus can find a way into the baby's body. Men and women who are considering having a baby and have any reason to believe they may have been exposed to the AIDS virus, should take the AIDS antibody test. To give you a better understanding of AIDS, I would like to present to you my slideshow on the immune system and the AIDS virus. While we're getting ready, please help yourself to some coffee and donuts in the back of the hall. You know, I'm not sure, but she might be here for the good of everyone. Please, draw the curtains. Lights. The body's immune system normally has many different types of cells that work together to fight infection. One type is called a lymphocyte. There are two types of lymphocytes you need to know about. The T helper cells and the T suppressors. T helper cells function as the on switch for the immune system. When they are stimulated by an organism, the T cells send a message to the immune system to fight off the invader. When the process has gone on long enough, the T suppressors tell the immune system to stop making antibodies. Hmm. AIDS is caused by a virus which affects the T helper cells, destroying them in the process. Without T helper cells, the body's protection against illness is reduced especially the protection against unusual illnesses. When the virus first attacks, there may be few, if any, signs of a person being sick. After a period of time, the virus can multiply 
and destroy so many T helper cells that there aren't enough left to direct the immune system to fight off infections. This means that a person may get many different illnesses, which a healthy immune system would normally fight off. Lights, please. Not everyone who is infected will have the same symptoms at all. They seem completely healthy to themselves and to others. The important thing to remember is that anyone who is infected may be capable of infecting others. If you decide to have sex with someone because they look safe, you are making a big mistake. Oh my gosh. Appearances can be deceiving. You gotta hand it to her. She's doing a good job here. Excuse me, doctor. Is AIDS always fatal? Advanced disease or full-blown AIDS is fatal in most cases. Some drugs are available that help prolong life, but there is still no cure for AIDS. Many of us know or will know someone with AIDS. These people need our kindness and support to help them continue to make the best of their lives. Even though someone has AIDS, he or she may still have productive years. Being terminally ill can be a very lonely and depressing experience. Visiting with them can make a big difference in easing the stress they feel and strengthening their will to live. My cousin, yeah, he's got AIDS. I guess it'd be a good thing to visit him and see how he's doing. Let us take a moment to review. First, AIDS is a sexually transmitted and blood-borne disease. There is only one sure way to avoid sexual transmission of the AIDS virus. Avoid having sex. However, if you decide to have sexual relations with someone, use a condom. Although condoms are not foolproof, if used properly, they will greatly reduce your chances of infection from the AIDS virus. Secondly, don't use illegal drugs. They weaken your immune system and can kill you. Many people have gotten AIDS and died because they shared a needle or syringe. Never share them with anyone. Finally, don't worry about getting AIDS through casual contact. You have to go out of your way to get AIDS. However, AIDS is a real problem that we should be aware of. If we all stay informed and are careful, we can stop the spread of AIDS. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. I know that we will all benefit from your wonderful presentation.